All right, so for model two, it says that we're going to round to the nearest tenth. So we're going to round to the nearest tenth today. In the slide, it said that we were going to round the value 36 hundredths. So if you don't have that written on your paper, I'm going to invite you to write it right now. 36 hundredths. And thinking about what we did yesterday, when we were rounding to the nearest whole number, and today we're rounding to the nearest tenth, we want to think about our model. So that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to shade in 36 hundredths. So when I look at each place value, I don't have a whole. I move over to the tenths place and I'm going to highlight three tenths. One, two, three. <coughs> and I move over to the hundredths place, and that means that I'm going to shade in six additional hundredths. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And so if we're wanting to think about rounding to the nearest tenth, I want you to go ahead and put the number three up here because that would be three tenths. And the very next tenth would be four tenths if I were to shade all the way down. So right now, are you closer to being three tenths or are you closer to being four tenths at the bottom? Raise your hand if you can tell me what you are thinking. What are you thinking, Israel? He thinks it's closer to four. Can you justify why? Okay. Okay, so what I heard you say, and I'm going to repeat this, is 0.5 is in the middle, and you have more than that. Okay, anybody else? Finley? It's more than five what? More than five hundredths. Okay. Anybody else? You got something? Um, it's six, and the middle is five, so it's one more. So it would burn four. Okay. I feel like the last three answers that we've heard are all saying the same thing in different ways. Okay. <clears throat> How about this? How far away are you from four? Ten. Four. How far away are you from three tenths? Six. Six. So who's closer? Are you closer to three or are you closer to four? So we're closer to four because we're only four away. I gotta backtrack six places to go back to three. Right? Can you let her in, please? Thank you. All right. So I'm thinking in my head that we're closer to four. Now, another way that you could look at rounding a number would be using the number line. And most fifth graders are like, oh, my gosh, I don't like the number line. And why? Because I feel like you're... You feel like you're going to do something wrong. And what I want you to remember about the number line is we're going to get comfortable with the number line. We're going to use it, and we're going to treat it just like a piece of measuring tape. Okay? And when I talk to most fifth graders, the reason why they're scared or they don't like it is because they don't know where to start. So if we're rounding to the nearest tenth, I'm going to go over here to the tenth place, and I'm going to mark this three tenths. Do that with your pencil right now. If I'm thinking about rounding it to the nearest tenth, the very next tenth would be what? Mahika? Four tenths. Four tenths. And most 
fifth graders can get that much done very easily. And then they get stuck again. And then they think about, well, what am I going to do next? And thinking about this model, we have a hundred equal pieces, but I'm not going to ask you to write a hundred little tick marks like we did yesterday when we were doing tips. Today we're doing hundreds. So I have to think to myself, well, what could we put between 30 and 40? Does that help you with your thinking? What could we put between 30 hundreds and 40 hundreds? Bella? 35 hundreds. And if I want to mark where 36 hundreds is, if I'm thinking about just going in order, is it going to be before the midpoint, Nathan? Or is it going to be after my midpoint? Where would 36 hundreds fall? Before the midpoint or after, Nathan? After. It's going to be about right here. And right now, I think some of you can see very clearly, are we closer to three tenths or are we closer to four tenths? We're closer to four tenths. So we're going to round this value to four tenths. What questions can I answer for you? All right, go ahead and put this paper away so that when we get ready to pull it